All right, out of all the tracker knife reviews I've been doing over the last few months, I'm finally getting around to the Tom Brown tracker number one. Stick around. Thank you so much for joining my friend. I hope you find this video helpful and resourceful. Let's get rolling. People have been telling me all along, man, when are you gonna get the Tom Brown tracker? You need to check that one out. And really at this point, the only reason why I haven't picked it up is just really because of the price. It's a rather expensive knife and I now especially understand why. It's just one of those things I've been putting off and putting off. But thankfully I made a connection on here with a, one of my subscribers named Jason and he actually sent me this tracker. We did kind of like a knife trade off and I received this in the mail this past Saturday. It's really cool how it worked out. I was able to trade him something in nice for something I don't use that much and in turn he did the same. So Jason, this one's dedicated to you, brother. I want to tell you from the start, this review is going to be a little bit deeper, and I have a couple of scores to settle before I get started. You know, from time to time in my reviews, every so often, somebody will come along in the comments and say, you talk too much, just get right down to it. Here's my response to those who would say that to me. I did not build my channel around that style of reviewing. I like to build a connection with my audience. I do my best, as you all know, to acknowledge every comment that comes in. I want to build a relationship with my audience. I'm not here just to be a slave to details and facts about a certain thing. There's things about it I want to share, things from my heart I want to share, and that's just how it is. And there's one more score I need to settle. I've done several tracker knife reviews, and I've done my best to try to give the history of the tracker, who made it, who designed it, and all of that. And I've gotten myself into a little bit of a a bee's nest in the comments section over who really designed the tracker knife, what the real backstory is and all of that. I'm just not gonna get caught up in that with this review. What matters to me is I like this knife. I like its design. I own several trackers. I'm a huge fan of this knife. And my goal today is just to talk about my experience with this blade. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take a look at this blade. Then I'm gonna go on a little bit of a hike. I'm gonna go find a place. I'm gonna make a fire, I'm gonna make some coffee. Uh, maybe cook a piece of meat. Just get out here in the wild with this blade. Let's take a look at the tops. Tom Brown tracker number one. Now this is big, obviously not brand new. It was sent to me. Jason, I was able to touch up the edge just the other day and uh, I've got it nice and sharp. This is a big blade. So she's a monster. She comes with this beautiful black Kydex sheath, fits in there very well, snaps in really well, hooks to the belt on the back. She's about 11.88 in length. This is a 6.38 link blade with a 6.25 cutting edge. Super thick, man. This thing's a quarter of an inch thick. This is made from 1095 steel. My Carter handle, so, so solid, so heavy. 21 ounces. So this thing's almost two pounds. All together when it's, you know, in the sheath, you're about 25 ounces, I believe. Just locks in there perfect. Just hardly no rattling, just really good. It's gonna hook to my belt here. You know, when I think about this, tracker when you're holding this in your hand you're holding a combination of so many things like you're you're holding almost like a hatchet in one sense but a, a hatchet and a knife combined so i really do believe that you can get so much done with a tool like this i'm just going to share this for those brand new to this knife who clicked on this video you know you can get this in various sizes you can go large like this one you can go like medium sized or you can go all the way down to a very micro size they've got one called the mini tom brown tracker it's really small this is the first tops brand knife i've ever owned and i've got a lot of friends here on youtube that love tops and swear by tops and you know from what i can gather they live up to their name very well as i'm walking on the trail with this i want to emphasize that when you've got a blade like this in your hand i mean it it lives up to a lot of different things you almost feel in one sense like you've got a, a machete in your hand uh, a hatchet in your hand, obviously a, a good knife with a lot of features. It's just one of those things that you can get out there and get it done with. Hello, stranger. This looks like a beautiful spot to spend some time this afternoon. All right, this little tree right here is gonna serve my purpose today. Gonna do some chopping, batoning, and different things like that. Gonna get a fire going and have a little fun. Now, one of the benefits to the tracker is you can chop with it. You can choke down on the end of this handle and really get a good swing. So 
So on a lot of your budget trackers, the saw on the back is pretty useless. This is really designed for notching and whatnot. And a lot of the budget trackers don't really come with a decent saw on the back, but this one's gonna have the ability to cut in well. You can see how well this cuts in. So if you need to cut a notch for a trap or maybe just try to make a little tripod over the fire to get a good connection, you can see what this has the ability to do. I wanna put that in the camera for you. Just a nice clean notch, cuts through the wood very well. There's a lot of ways you can carve with this. I mean, you've got a lot of slicing edge on this. You know, slicing edge here, here. A lot of people will baton here. They'll, you know, baton with this. You know, you can use this side of the blade for things. Use this edge. This is obviously skinning, gutting, and I think good for carving. I love carving right in that curve like that. Just to show you what I'm talking about as far as batoning on this end. You know, you can baton on this end instead of the top end i just think that works very well i may not baton or chop with every knife but i will with this one got us a little mini fire pit here we're gonna have us something to eat and some coffee now it's time to get the party started steak anyone oh the joys of getting out mm. All right, I'm just letting this water boil right now and I'm enjoying this chuck steak. You know, if you get a good cut of chuck steak, man, it's like poor man's ribeye. I think it's delicious. All I did was put some of this Lowry seasoning on it. Mm, it's so good out here. While I'm waiting on this water to boil so I can have me some coffee, makes me think of something, you know. I, I run into two different people. One's a coffee drinker, the other's not. It's just like that everywhere I go. I'm constantly running into people who like coffee and those who don't like it. It's like that with the tracker knife. Uh, there are some people who love this, they get it, and then there are those that don't. And I don't have anything bad to say about people who don't like tracker knives, but I do. I very much love this knife. I love it for everything. I love it for being out here, chopping, slicing, doing whatever I gotta do. I love it for walking through the woods and just chopping things. I like it for throwing. Uh, I love to throw this kind of knife. I throw tracker knives better than every other knife out there. All right, we've got her to a boil. Gonna have us a little Cafe Bustello here. And we're gonna throw a little half and half in this. Drinking out of my favorite coffee cup, Rocky Balboa. In life, it's not how hard you hit, it's how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Cheers, my friend. As a tip, I'll tell you what, this uh, Cafe Bustello Instant is great for the pack. I think this has tasted very good out here. So let's talk about throwing the Topps Tom Brown tracker. You know, a lot of people want to throw their trackers because of the movie The Hunted. Benicio Del Toro throws his like crazy in the movie and people in turn want to do the same. Heck, I'm one of them. It made me want to throw a tracker knife. But should you throw a $250 tracker? Well, you should take into consideration that knife throwing beats the living daylights out of a knife. I mean, it torture tests the knife. It's my opinion that you can get a budget tracker and throw that, and it has the same aesthetic. You don't have to spend $250 on a Topps Tom Brown tracker to be able to throw a tracker knife. You can go out and spend 40 or 50 bucks on a decent tracker and throw that, because it's obvious that this Tom Brown tracker is built for usefulness, for mileage, and being with you just out in the field. The Tom Brown Tracker is a knife that's marketed for everything. It's marketed for bushcraft. It's marketed for day-to-day -day use. It's marketed as a tactical combat knife. It's a commonly known throwing knife. It really just does everything. This is almost two pounds of crushing power. You don't want anybody throwing this at you. So obviously she throws beautifully. As far as the combative element of this is concerned, you know, this weighs about twice what your average combat knife weighs. So there is the factor of being slowed down. Obviously there are smaller versions of this. Something this size is obviously gonna be made for being out here and doing what you need to do, uh, but it can get the job done. If you were in a situation with this and you had to protect yourself against a person 
or an animal and it hits hard and it destroys whatever it hits. All right, I'm gonna bring this review to a close. I probably haven't talked about all there is to talk about with this amazing knife, but that's what the comment section's for. And if there's something you wanna add, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. It's been a really good time today. And as always, I appreciate you watching and I appreciate your support. And I look forward to hearing from you. Take care.